We may never know the identity of the circumstances that left this poor woman here. It is said everything happens for a reason. It sounded like it was coming from behind me. Uh, <laughs> there it is. What the hell is that? Okay. Uh, is there supposed to be something here or? There is something right in there. What the hell? For a second, I thought that was like a giant candy. I just saw somebody down there. Hello? Okay, I think there's another person down there. And I literally just heard a taser. Oh my god. Nope, not today. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. So uh, this one already got super weird, super quick. Um, and I will get to why that is in a second. Uh, but yeah, so basically, I was actually trying to go and check out this uh, random conservation area. Apparently there's like ruins, there's a waterfall, all this really cool stuff. Drove about 52 minutes from home to get there and there's a giant sign and a huge lineup of people because apparently the area's limit has been reached. So, so much for that. I was just basically gonna go in and vlog it and uh, just see what it was all about because it just seemed really interesting. So I decided instead uh, that I would do some Randonautica. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, Randonautica, it is an app that you can download. I think it's available on Google and Apple and whatever. Um, be very careful if you do use it because I have had so many weird, strange experiences, unexplainable things that have happened. Uh, but the basics of it are that you run intentions and it's supposed to bring you to somewhere nearby on the map. And when you get there, there's supposed to be something related to the intent. So for example, why this one is so creepy is that I used the intent from Stobel and they decided to send me unsolved murders and it's just, it's just really, really messed up what I just found related to this intent. Like, it literally worked perfectly, and that's the scary part. Um, but, yeah, so I'm probably going to be doing this, I guess, for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll find something else cool to check out along my travels. Maybe post that on the vlog channel. Today was supposed to literally just be dedicated to the vlog channel. Just wanted to chill out and do whatever, but um, unfortunately, you know, that didn't really pan out. So that's why I'm just going to do some randonautica and see what we end up finding. Apart from that, uh, I am going to be doing a few road trips soon, um, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I should be going to see an old friend, another YouTuber of mine, and probably filming some really awesome bangers, probably some haunted stuff uh, with them, and uh, yeah, that should be fun. And then after that, I'll probably be heading out on like a 20-day road trip. I don't know the exact time frame yet, but it's going to be pretty extensive so we should be able to get a lot of really good content mix it up with randonautica haunted some strange stuff whatever it is that we managed to find uh, apart from that also go and check out the podcast i literally just uploaded a brand new video with my friend alex where he talks about a lot of really important things things that may benefit you guys in your life um, and hopefully they do um, but yeah so go and check that i'll leave the link for it in the description and in a pinned comment most likely but um, yeah, so here's what is really creepy. So I literally just pulled up and I uh, started looking around and I noticed that there was this thing. Um, I'm like, oh, that looks like a little memorial. Maybe somebody died here. Maybe there was a car accident or something. Usually how it goes when there is a memorial plus little crosses, but this one's a little crazier. And um, here's why. So essentially it says, please pray for the soul of an unidentified woman whose remains were found at this location on August 28, 2005. So that is, what, uh, 18 years ago. Uh, this request made by Knights of Columbus, holy name of Mary Rockwood Council 14201. That's wild. And then I also noticed that there is this bench here, uh, which says Rockwood Jane Doe. We may never know the identity of the circumstances, that left this poor woman here, it is said everything happens for a reason. Maybe she ended up here to make us stop and think. We can continue our journey along Highway 7 and the road of life. She cannot, per uh, she cannot. Perhaps her spirit lingers here and for some reason you are now here. Sit for a while and think about your life. 
where it is heading and where do you want to end up now perhaps her end was not in vain as in effect she has helped you kp55 that's crazy that is absolutely crazy i'm gonna actually look up the uh the story um but considering the name is john doe clearly they don't know who the person was um i'm unfamiliar with the story altogether this was like totally unexpected literally crazy like this is absolutely insane the fact that that was the first thing and that the intent was unsolved murders like what the f wow okay um i do have a little bit of an idea maybe i could do a like mini uh ghost video i guess maybe for the vlog channel use the spirit talk. i didn't bring any of my gadgets because i wasn't expecting to do anything haunted today so um i guess i could try that and see what the hell happens wow <laughs> i'm absolutely dumbfounded but uh yeah, I just, I just tweeted on what is now called X, apparently. Twitter is no longer Twitter. It is now called X, which is really funny. Um, so let me pick out the next intent. Um, let's go with... Sure, this one sounds interesting. We're going to go with mysterious relationship. I should also probably look around and see maybe if there happens to be anything else. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with mysterious relationship. That one's from Acapella Music Lover uh, at I... I can't even read that. Il Sabahoti? <laughs> okay. But yeah, let's go take a look around and see if there's anything else. The signs all say that it's a uh, picnic area, and that's pretty much it. Wow, that is literally the craziest thing. <laughs> Holy... Anything in the garbage can apart from maybe garbage? Why it's on its side, I have no idea. Raccoons probably uh, went through there. Would not be surprised. That's crazy though. Like, I wonder where they found the human remains. Like, where was it exactly? Was it in that very spot? I don't know. I'm not really seeing anything. These benches are really cool though. They're like solid concrete. It's also really loud here because this is like a main road. I'm almost in a city called Cambridge, very, very close to it. So it doesn't look like there's any trails or anything like that. Just a lot of trees. And I'm not really seeing anything. Sometimes we find things, sometimes we don't. But okay. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for that. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll run that point and uh, see where else it ends up bringing us to. And uh, I'm actually going to search up and see if I can find like an article, maybe a news article that explains what happened to the Jane Doe of Rockwood, because that is wild. Also, some other random car literally just pulled in. Another Subaru. Um, they don't look super suspicious. I think they just randomly pulled over. But, uh, okay. Cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, um, I did do a little bit of research. I just kind of wanted to add this in for context. Uh, so they still, to this day, do not know who she is. If you look up uh, Rockwood Jane Doe, uh, there's a bunch of articles that show up. There's literally... Um, sketches of what they think she most likely would have li looked like apparently she was decomposed like the body was decomposing here for at least a month they do suspect foul play but they never really confirmed what happened uh but they it says here that on august 28 2005 a male cyclist traveling along the highway 7 from guelph to rockwood decided to make use of the odd rest stop needing to relieve his bladder he pulled into the lot Bringing his bike to a halt towards the back, he searched for a private area in the trees to urinate and found a clearing which he decided to pursue on foot. He thought he saw a strange obscured object further back. He investigated the item was a navy blue sleeping bag laid over an unrecognizable object. He may have thought this to be average litter or debris at first. That is until he realized the out outline of a human form un under and called the police. Oh, Oh wow, they have actual photos of this too. I don't know if you guys can see that properly on the screen, but wow. 
So upon arriving on the scene, the deceased and lightly decomposed body of a woman was found covered by a sleeping bag by responding police. No bloody evidence, no blood evidence was on scene, nor was any weapon, other evidence, or obvious cause of death. All that was found on scene was the body itself, the clothes she wore, and the sleeping bag she was covered by. No personal effects and no identification with no leads at the scene. It was hoped the autopsy would turn in more information, which she was taken to Toronto Morgue, where she was held for over six weeks. Uh, it says the remains were that of a Caucasian woman aged 25 to 45 weighing 130 pounds with light brown her hair and no tattoos. This would place her birth from 1957 to 1977. She wore an inexpensive dental plate consisting of a left incisor and canine tooth. Um, she had been dead for one month, however no cause of death could be determined. The remains were too badly decomposed to definitively determine if a homicide had taken place in any way. It's kind of crazy how they can't figure out if it was a homicide or not. Uh, while it could not be found if Jane Doe had suffered any injuries which caused her death, she had suffered many in life. Not only that, but many had healed improperly. Wow, giving police a potential look into her life. Long before her death, she had suffered a cracked rib. This had healed improperly and likely caused pain. On top of that, she had a broken left cheek, eye socket, and nose, which had also healed improperly and resulted in noticeable deformity. The injury also knocked two teeth out, resulting in her wearing a dental plate. In suffering uh, grueling injuries and not having access to medical help, and the woman clearly lived a rough life and was likely abused. Dr. Jim Cairns, Ontario. This is just insane. But yeah, there's literally pictures of what they think she may have looked like, which is that. Um, wow. They examined, the police that examined uh, other evidence in the case, clothes on her person and the sleeping bag she was found in. The sleeping bag was a navy blue Woods brand sleeping bag in good condition. The sleeping bag was sold at Canadian Tire across Canada. However, the navy blue color was only manufactured until 2004, meaning it was purchased at a minimum eight months prior to Jane Doe's discovery. Damn, dude. Jane Doe's soiled bra why was it so dirty compared to her underwear what okay i might skip ahead a little bit in the article but you know what i'm gonna actually go through this probably on the podcast a little bit more because this is very intriguing there's a sketch of what she used to look like um wow absolutely mortifying if you ask me but uh okay so it's a little bit too noisy to do really like any sort of haunted type of stuff here so i might come back and do that one day um but wow, this is a really long story. I'm going to read through this. Like I said, I'm going to probably talk about this more on my podcast with Moshi and uh, just kind of see what what he thinks too about all this. That's crazy, man. The fact that they've never had another lead in 13 years. Damn. But okay, I'm going to get uh, get a move on here and uh, we're going to head towards the next point, which I already ran. It's showing me it's uh, about 10 minutes away from here. So we'll head over there and uh, see if we find anything else. Okay. What the heck is this thing? There's a random property. There's people walking all around. And uh, our point is like all the way down here at this random big building. I have no idea what the hell it is. But uh, I guess we can walk up towards it. So yeah, I just literally got to this gate because it wanted me to take this road towards this massive building. Um, no clue what it is. <laughs> it's big though. Uh, so I figured I might as well and go check it out. <sighs> yeah. Whoa, it's like a giant lake down there. I didn't even notice that on the maps. I didn't really look that clearly as to what I'm coming to, but I could see it from like the main road there. There's a bunch of like smokestacks and stuff and this really awesome looking rock wall. <laughs> totally cool. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll see once we get to it. Someone's screaming somewhere. Let's see if I could hear it again. It sounded like it was coming from behind me. Uh, <laughs> there it is. What the hell is that? Hopefully the microphone's picking it up because it's a little weird. And I think it's also about to rain, which is fantastic. Because I did not bring an umbrella. Well, looks like we found some uh, running water. Oh, that's cool. 
I like how the, they designed it. Well, the uh, the rocks there too. What is going on here? Whatever we're coming up to might be uh, something historic, big and historic. It looks like there's a little bridge there too. Oh wow, what a cool area. Nice. Well, it's a little bit of a uh, change of pace doing Randonautica during the day because a lot of times I get stuck out there in the middle of the night. <laughs> and let me tell you, that's when it gets real spooky. Um, but yeah, doing it during the day is not so bad so far. Um, but it is getting a little bit later now. So I don't know how uh, how much time we got. But yeah. Well, this is random. So there is a monstrous looking house here. And then there's also some big ass building up there uh that's pretty interesting i don't know what these are maybe i should check it out do a little bit of reconnaissance <laughs> uh oh yeah front door's right there yeah maybe we can uh see through the windows or something i have no idea oh it's like chain it's like a I don't even know how to describe it, like a mesh chain type of thing. Well, that's interesting. Whoa. So the question is, why would Randonautica want me to go there? What is that building anyways? It does look very, very old. I got no idea. Let's see. Uh, looks kind of empty might be abandoned actually. I think it is. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, continue on towards that building. Huh. Looks like a uh, pretty damn big building. What is this? Oh, you know what it is? I think it might be a prison. Oh. Very, very old one. Yeah, because the dead giveaway would be that fence over there it looks like a prison it goes all the way along the perimeter there wow okay that's cool <laughs> wow look at this <laughs> damn so that says 19 11 up there oh the cornerstone was laid by the honorable sir james pliny whitney prime minister of ontario uh, 25th of September, 1911. Wow. That is really cool. Um, so my pin kind of looks like it's on this side. Would make the most sense. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get into this, but wow, does this ever look amazing. Oh yeah, definitely a prison. You can see all the bars and the windows. That is something else. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a random white Tesla. Most likely security? You know what? If there's somebody like working here, maybe I could ask them for some contact information and see if I can actually get permission to, to film it on the inside. Huh. <sighs> So all there was was a uh, number and clearly they have active security so looks like we're not going to get in the building but um for some odd reason my pin is like back here somewhere like literally right over there <laughs> and uh i don't know how the hell i'm supposed to get there so maybe i'll keep walking around observing a little bit but yeah there's really not anything here so I mean there is obviously we've got a ginormous prison building but yeah good luck getting inside of that this is cool there's a little church slash chapel whatever you want to call it um, literally right there wow that's cool also pretty creepy at the same time now it would be so amazing to be able to get inside of this to do a paranormal video <laughs> wow i'm definitely going to make the call and see if i can make it happen so um since the right side was a bust i am going to take a quick look on the left side just to kind of observe and see if there's anything 
of interest um, like I said the point was down on that side so obviously we ain't going in there uh, but I think I'll run another point soon probably and uh, see where else it ends up taking us but in the meanwhile let's go on uh, a little bit of an adventure and uh, I guess explore the property that is uh, really trippy <laughs> that light just randomly flashing I love how they have like every window boarded like were people actually trying to get up there to get inside i mean it is a possibility i mean realistically i probably would have tried if it was doable but first you'd have to get over all the freaking barbed wire everywhere what is this thing what is that okay yeah disney fairies it was like a pencil case like a kid's pencil case and for some reason it is wrapped up. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, now I'm curious as to what might be inside. Let me just put you guys there so I can actually open this. That's the worst thing about filming these videos on my own is that holding the camera <laughs> and trying to dictate how to do things. Okay. Uh, that was really random. Uh, pens and scrunchies and some random writing that I don't even know what the hell that says. Okay. Looks like it says he pees something. He pees a something? I don't know. You guys tell me, let me get that to focus, but you guys tell me if you can read that, because I have no idea what the hell that says. Okay, cool. We got a pencil case full of pens and random scrunchies, which is kind of gross, the fact that I touched that, but um, I guess I'll use some hand sanitizer at some point. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that is uh, pretty random. We'll just leave that there uh, for whoever that belongs to. Man, this thing is just gigantic. It's crazy because, like, there's not that many large prisons here in Canada. I mean, we have such a small population. We've only just reached 40 million people, apparently. Um, so, yeah, the fact that we needed a prison this size at one point, and clearly it is no longer in use. The problem with getting in these places, like getting permission, is they always want large, obscene amounts of money. <laughs> like, I do know I tried booking one once. Uh, it's a, play a psychiatric center. It's massive, just like this. Um, very spooky looking building. I actually know people who've been in there. Um, but they wanted like $6,000 for one night. I'm like, heck no. That's just not going to happen. But okay, um, do I carry on? Or do I turn around, go back to the front, and maybe run another point? And uh, see what else there might be. Where does this go anyways? Is this an actual trail? Looks like it's a trail. Oh, yeah, there's people over there. Okay, cool. So we're going to turn around and uh make our way back i suppose that was weird i decided to uh take a little break just sitting on the uh steps here and i heard something i don't know what the hell it was but it's definitely a something it sounded like something like a door opened and closed is there somebody like there can they let me in <laughs> that'd be cool i don't know where the hell it came from though Hello? I mean, maybe the security goes in the building for some odd reason. Most of the time they don't, but... I don't know. I don't see anyone, and I don't hear anything now. Hey, it literally sounded like, like maybe that door over there, that white door opened and closed or something. Okay, um, but yeah, I was uh, taking a little break, 
ran another intent, which uh, was Illuminati. So <laughs> we're going with Illuminati. I just thought it was funny and kind of creepy at the same time, especially if you're into like conspiracy theories and whatnot. Um, that one I think was from Kimmy Cat. So shout out to you for suggesting that one. I ended up going with it. And uh, it looks like it's down there. So I checked the maps and it looks like it might actually be on the opposite side of that lake that we walked past. So I'm gonna go down there and uh, yeah, see what might be there. Oh look, another doggo. Man, look at how overgrown this damn parking lot was, or is. Clearly hasn't been used in a long time. Wow. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's a road down here, and that leads to a trail, and the trail goes around the lake towards our point, so that's uh, where we're going to head to. Okay, well that's weird. It looked like there was a trail right here. This is literally what Google Maps says. There's also some random metal thing on the ground. Um, but I don't see any trail. This battery's literally about to die. It's flashing red. And yeah, it just looks like a bunch of bush. <laughs> so, uh, how do I get to my point exactly? Okay, that sucks. I also just killed a mosquito on my arm. That also sucks. Um, yeah, I'm not going through there. Because that's uh, Tick Central right there. This here kind of looks like a trail. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, I guess we could try it. See if it actually goes to... So we're basically trying to get to the other side down there. Because I could see the water from here. So, okay. I guess I'll replace the battery in a second. And uh, continue through and see if it actually goes. Well, we are in luck. Um, so there is a trail kind of hopefully it doesn't randomly and abruptly stop somewhere uh yeah it looks like it goes i heard something some like people but i mean i imagine there's probably other people walking around here but uh what the hell are we gonna find related to the illuminati out here oh look berries probably shouldn't eat those <laughs> probably make you sick um okay oh, there it is again where I'm hearing people. I also really gotta pee. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna find a spot to go pee somewhere. Oh, nasty. So I stopped for a second and uh, I literally just killed a mosquito on the back of my leg. Oh my god. You cannot stop here apparently because they just start eating you alive. Figuratively, not literally. Um, damn, I should have put some spray on. Oh, there's something here. What is that? It's a random little blue bag with some bugs on it. Oh, it looks like it's got the Eiffel Tower on it. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> what? What the hell is this? Ah, oh, mother. Ah, oh, they're biting me. Oh, they're literally eating me alive. Okay, I'm just going to grab this and... Uh, keep moving maybe add some deet to my body because they are literally attacking me but we'll take a look at what the hell this is afterwards uh maybe I'll, if there's somebody's info in it or something i could just return it to them kind of weird okay that was weird someone was coming this way and then all of a sudden they decided to turn around and go back maybe they got attacked by mosquitoes too <laughs> i don't know uh i just literally stopped for a second just to put some deet on me because they were just getting vicious these mosquitoes but okay um i mean like doing this kind of puts you a little on edge because i mean i've had so many freaking experiences i know i don't know um sometimes i have no idea what the hell is going on uh but i mean it makes you curious because we find all these weird objects have weird encounters with people and it makes you very curious as to what's happening so you end up continuing and always end up looking for more clues as to why <laughs> literally just why that's the question what is this area that's random it's part of a trail goes deep into the woods there it looks like but okay um i'm gonna actually continue on this way instead because this is more or less where my 
point is supposed to be, we're almost there, it looks like. The building that we were just at is past those trees down there. What a nice little spot. This is cool. Okay, so uh, we're at the point. Um, I don't particularly see anything. Ugh, my hands feel all oily from that spray. Is there supposed to be something here, or... I don't know. Oh, there is something right in there. People are coming. Why does it sound like they're saying my name for some reason? What is that? Oh. Literally almost just took my own eye out. Oh, it's a random picture frame of Barbados. Okay. That's pretty random. Is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. I do hear people. I don't know if they're coming or going or... Oh, look. Somebody's uh, been having fires here. I just heard something over there. I don't see anybody, though. Oh, there's like a bunch of people over there. Okay. Well, looks like this is where people stop. Uh, what's up with the picture frame, though? Let's uh, open it up, I guess. Ow. Ow, that's hard to do. Okay. Ow, that's stabbing my thumb. Uh, <laughs> how the hell am I going to open this with only one hand? Wait for it. Just get it perfect. Oh, Oh, there's something there. What does that say? Years ago, I took a difficult trip. What? Oh. Shit. Okay. Years ago, I took a difficult trip to the coast. Something's crawling on my leg. I was uh, invited by a good friend who told me it was going to be a fun time. It wasn't. They told me to keep my mouth shut or else. The things I witnessed, unspeakable. The pain to this day are unbearable. No one should ever go there. The cops were in their pockets. I still hold this inside even now. And there's some coordinates with please help. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> so that's weird. Like, really, really weird. Um, maybe I'll check what these coordinates are. Let's see. We got 13 point 179 uh, 787 comma uh, minus 59 point Four six seven. Love how I'm just like sitting here, the side of a lake, just randomly punching in uh, coordinates here. Eight five six. Some random person just showed up right behind me on their bike. Um, okay, that is. St. John Barbados. Doesn't really look like there's anything there. Okay, what's this guy doing? This is really random. <sighs> I don't really understand what the hell this guy is doing. Okay, that was weird. Like, can I help you? This dude literally just came off the trail on his bike, pulled up here, right next to me, and then just pulled up there as if he was gonna ride out, then suddenly stopped and then walked out and then continued riding. What? <laughs> but okay. Um, so yeah, we have 
a coordinate here. Um, for some reason, the camera doesn't want to focus. Focus, please. Please and thanks. It would be wonderful if you could. Yep, yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, so, yeah, clearly we have something here in St. John Barbados um, next to a fish market. What is this? It looks kind of like it goes to some random, almost abandoned looking building. That's interesting. Okay. I don't know what the deal is with that, um, but we're just going to put that back and I guess got to move on because that dude was kind of creeping me out. I don't know if he's still there. That guy was tripping me out. I don't know, it just seemed like there was no real reason why he turned in there. It's like he saw me and he just pulled right in for some odd reason. He's gone now. Um, okay, so, well, at least we found something. Coordinates to Barbados. I don't know what that's all about. Um, or how it relates to Illuminati. <laughs> really. Uh, I guess you'd never really know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Uh, got to get all the way to the other side now. Back to where my car is parked at the gate. So it's quite uh, a hike. But at least we're getting some exercise today. Right, guys? <laughs> Okay, I'll uh, get back to you when I pretty much get back at the car. But before we get back, what is that? Is that like an old uh, railroad bridge or something? I got no idea. That looks pretty freaking cool though. It also sounds like there's a waterfall here. Or maybe there's just like a, a pipe or something that's just dumping water into this. Which uh, is exactly what I thought. Literally just a pipe. <laughs> nothing exciting. That's unfortunate, but nothing too exciting. Okay, well, this is pretty random. Never lose sight of your roots. Huh. What a random place to write that. I guess maybe if you'll just come here and fish, maybe that's what they mean by that. It's a nice little spot. Right in the trees. <laughs> uh... Okay. Okay, this is uh, creepy. Um, the hell was that? I thought I heard something move in the bushes, but I think it was just the wind. But uh, yeah, there is a something here. Ugh. Gotta reach down and get it. Okay. What the f? Are you f kidding me right now? Eat, sleep, karate. Kushindo Kai Karate and Fitness. Family Martial Arts for Health for Life. Okay, this is really weird because I found something what looks like it was almost identical to the exact same fish that I found somewhere else. What the f Okay. That is really weird. That area was uh, a fair distance away from there and I don't think I'm going back anytime soon. I went twice, literally back to back, and I had a crazy encounter with somebody in, the, in those woods. Like going around carrying a taser for some reason. Um, I think I just saw somebody. Hello? I swear I saw somebody just peek out from down there. It was odd that that other guy came through. Uh, you know what? We're just going to get the hell out of here. Because this is a bit weird. I don't know what way to go, but um, I guess I'll just go this way. Oh, this, look, this doesn't look so bad. It looked kind of for a second there. I feel like I'm being followed all of a sudden. Dude, there's no way. Like, if there's some random person in the woods in that other area... How?
Okay, this is uh, just getting really strange. I'm just a little dumbfounded as to how there is the same thing here that was also there. That was like weeks ago too. Damn. <sighs> okay. And there's just a bunch of random people on the other side of this lake. It's kind of crazy how there's like lake and then there's literally lake as well. Oh, this looks like a crappy path, but okay. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Okay. It's literally just a random chair. <laughs> uh, okay. Mickey's spot, not yours. Off. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That's interesting i don't know who the hell mickey is but you can have your spot mickey uh that's really f random <laughs> dude what is up with this area what is going on right now holy crap all right guys so uh stopped for a minute to go and eat well actually about an hour because it was slow service but the food was freaking amazing i just had greek food so decided to uh do my next point and uh i have arrived i don't remember what the freaking intent was i gotta double check but um yeah we still have this to open i actually forgot about it and uh i was putting all the extra batteries in my bag and realized that it was still there so we're gonna double check what the heck's in here so uh i double checked and the intent for the location that i'm currently at is uh strange encounter but what's also strange is this i literally just opened this up and there's a whole bunch of Random stuff in here. Got a pin, really rusted pin. Alf, no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. Uh, that looks to be French. Pin number two. What the heck is this? It looks almost like a weird flower imprinted seashell type of thing. This looks like stamps. It is. Of the Queen. Rest in peace, Queen. Uh, there's no stamps in it, but okay. So, who is all this? Bob's, your family restaurant. Arizona. Oh, 45, 45 fine restaurants around LA, Fresno, San Jose, San Diego, Arizona, and Nevada. Division of the Marriott Corporation? Never heard of it. Interesting. What a weird assortment of stuff. Steel and aluminum. Sheet strip coil. Okay. Samuel Sun and Company Limited. Uh, and it looks like there's still matches in there. I'm telling you, sometimes we just find the weirdest things. I can't even open that. I'll deal with that later. Oh, look, money. What the fuck? Uh, that's weird. I don't know what this is. Or where it's from, rather. What is that noise? I thought I heard somebody, like, mumbling or something. It was interesting. What the hell is this? Cheetah? I don't know what this is. Made in Italy. Modena. Animo Seva something. Maybe I'll open that up and see what the hell is in there. Okay. A random buckle of some sort. Weird. Uh, what is this? Some random thing of beads. A metal thing. What the hell? A clothesline clip. And a thing. I don't know what that is. Okay, well that's interesting and a piece of that. What the fuck? Like really? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of that, but um, all right. Well, it looks like my point here right now, which is strange encounter, um, is not that far in off the trail. And uh, hopefully there is no strange encounter because I don't want a strange encounter right now. I could probably do without it. Um, the last location was really weird with that fish. That's a bit concerning because now I found it at two different locations. Um, I thought that maybe it was like, you know, something that was somebody would place at the last area at the other conservation area from like a couple weeks ago. But I don't know. I don't really know what to think. Um, but I guess we'll go. What the hell was that? I literally just heard somebody like call out. There's no one here. The whole parking lot is empty. Everyone's uh, gone home. It looks like. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but all right, uh, we'll head on in and see if we can find anything. Also, I'd just like to point out that I opened up this package and they're literally like stickers. Uh, Wild animals, collect these stickers in the album available from your local shop. Got a panda, funny looking little monkey thing. Uh, some pelicans. An iguana. And a fish. Okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Alrighty, let the adventures begin. Um, what is this place for one? This is called Starkey Hill. Uh, during the winters, chickadees will eat bird seed from your hand at spots along the trip. That's so cool. They especially like sunflower seeds. Okay, well, it looks like I gotta come back here. Apparently, they got uh, wild turkeys. <laughs> and uh, whatever is that? Porcupines. Okay, well, that's fun. Don't wanna step on one of those. <laughs> that would hurt. I've only ever encountered one porcupine and uh, for some reason Lamar freaked out when he saw one and because uh, he thinks that they shoot their spikes at people which I don't think is accurate <laughs> and he's just like run I'm like why are we running <laughs> oh Lamar is funny I haven't seen them in a while okay so this says notice no public access do not leave trail. Now, considering the sign is facing that way, I'm going to assume that they mean stay on this trail. And that's probably going towards private property. Damn, this stuff is very overgrown over here. Wow. It's almost like, uh, <laughs> like cornfields. Not quite, but... Hey, mosquitoes. What the hell? For a second, I thought that was like a giant candy. What the hell? Okay. What is this doing out here? It's really weird. It's got like similar tape like that other thing at the, the jail. Ugh, there's so much heat. Ugh. Oh my god, the mosquitoes. Ugh, I sprayed myself and they're still coming at me. I figured I'm like, I'm coming onto a trail, so I might want to spray myself. Okay, what is in here? What the hell? Look at this. For some reason, I have a tin of random papers. What the hell is that? It's not an animal of some sort, so probably nothing to worry about. I got a picture of a dog. It's an old postcard. Um, I don't know where that's from. Toronto. Okay. Interesting. Something that says danger. Not sure where the danger is at. <clears throat> um, got what looks like 
something in French. I cannot read French, so if any of you guys can translate, feel free. What the heck are these? Petites. I mean, I could read French, but I have no idea what the hell it says. So we got petite pois a la Francais. Peas? Peas and like onions? Pretty sure a mosquito literally just bit me in the eyebrow. Okay, something just moved in the grass. Is this like a scene at a Jurassic Park or something? What is all this stuff? That looks familiar. <laughs> Screw you, mosquito. Uh, something Calgary, steady offensive guard who... Something, Calgary good blocking and team. Okay. Weird. There's like a fleur de lis on this. RW and Co. I'm pretty sure that's a clothing store. Elton John, something ab about the way you look tonight. Candle in the wood. Wind, 1997. I'm so tired today, I can't even read properly. <laughs> uh, looks like the tape is in there. Huh. Another clothespin. What the f- Dude, are you kidding me right now? Okay. Violence on avance. Okay, this is weird. Oh, sh yeah, that's like almost exact to the other thing that I just found. And then you got a little doggy. Okay, let's just put that all back in and uh, throw it away. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, how did how did they even manage to fit all this in here? What the sh Okay, that's really weird. Um, that's a little bit concerning. We'll just put that big candy looking thing back. What the f***? Dude, my point was like pretty far in. It looked like it was in that cluster of trees down there. There's no one around. As far as I can tell, anyway. What is this? What the sh was that? There's somebody like scream out there. It sounded like it came from the parking lot. This looks like a bird feeder or something. What the hell? It's like a bunch of like pink letters and a. Okay. Or whatever that is. How do you open this thing? Right, right. How do you open this? Is it from like... Oh, I not open it. Okay, that is really weird. I'm just going to put you guys down for a second. Just get this open here. Oh, there we go. That's how that works. How's this thing? Oh, got some letters in there. How am I gonna? Man, my finger almost literally got stuck in there. No, I can't get that out. Okay. Well, <laughs> it just looks like a piece of paper, but I want to know like why it's. Here. Just bear with me guys. So I finally got this thing out. It was like a bowled up napkin. And I think it says they were all, if I'm not mistaken, that says so and then pretty. They were all so pretty. What was so pretty? What is the deal with like all the weird letters in this thing? Okay, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand, is that like a message? I don't know who's pretty exactly, pretty in pink, is that what they're referring to? 
Okay. Well, that's creepy as it is to begin with. I swear I just heard like a cow or something. What is that? What is going on today? Looks like there's a jewel bit and a bunch of letter things in here. Some screws. Okay. What are we playing, like Scrabble or something? There's a sharpener. Okay. I'm gonna... Keyring, Peach State, Atlanta, Georgia. Been in Atlanta before. Pretty cool city. And we got random screws. I don't quite understand. Okay, that's odd. We'll just uh, close that up. And uh, I'm going to keep going in because I heard something howling. There seems to be something going on here. I don't quite know what it is just yet. Um, shit, I gotta change this battery. I think I accidentally put like a half dead one in. And I have been filming with it for quite some time, so. Okay, well this is actually pretty cool. Um, I've never been here before as far as I know. So this is all new. We've been brought on a uh, pretty random interesting adventure so far today I mean the first thing we found was quite horrific oh look at that cool so I guess it's a uh, kind of a historic area oh, it's very buggy out here I mean, there is one pro to going hiking in the winter, is you don't have all the dang bugs. Oh, this is cool. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, I don't know which way to go. I need to double check. Okay. Well, it looks like we gotta go down towards the main trail. Um, not too far in, but far enough, <laughs> I suppose. Let's just take a look and uh, see if there's anything here. I mean, there was already that stuff. Weird enough as it is. I really don't know what to make of it. Um, but we still got some sunlight, so that's good. Nice. This is actually a nice trail. Cool. I also just killed a mosquito. Dang. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these mosquitoes are just brutal. I'm pretty sure one literally bit me right on the dang eyebrow. Like, literally right here, I can feel it. Oh, Ooh, feels like my, my eye is almost... Hi? I just saw somebody down there. Hello? Ugh. Dang, mosquitoes, man, I'm telling you. Probably just a hiker. Probably no need to uh, worry. I mean, I'm kind of worried based on what I found today. Uh, hello?
Where the hell did they go? Okay. I mean, it's not that dense, this forest, but I know I saw somebody. They clearly looked at me and then went somewhere. I don't know where, though. Uh, okay. Hello? Mr. Porcupine? What the heck was that? Who's there? Okay, that was creepy. I literally just saw them move all the way down there. But I don't know what the hell they're doing out there. Can, uh... Can you come out? If you want. Or maybe don't come out? <gasps> what the f*** was that? Oh my god. Okay, I think there's another person down there. And I literally just heard a taser. Oh my god. Nope, not today. Not today, Batman. F*** that. Stay back. Dude, you have to be seriously kidding me. Let's just get out of here. Okay, what is the deal with the dudes with the tasers? Like... Gonna get the hell out of here. Screw you. Okay. There's definitely got to be two of them. Who that is, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to find out, to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna make my way out of here. Cool trail, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. And there's no cars in the parking lot, so I'm clearly on my own. I mean, sorta, instead of, except for those two, or one, or whatever, I don't even know. I don't even know what the is going on over here.
let's just go. Okay, that was really weird. I don't know who the hell that was. Um, or if it was just my mind playing tricks on me, I gotta look back at the footage, but I swear I heard something. And uh, I think I am officially, t um, you know, terrified of freaking tasers. That is exactly what it sounded like. And the weird thing is that the last time Brad and I were out, and even the time before that, at the last conservation area, there was somebody with a taser. And I don't know if it's the same person, but that's the reason why I'm like, F that, I'm getting the hell out of there. So I don't know who the heck I'm dealing with. So um, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end this one off for today. We found a lot of really weird stuff. Um, so I might just maybe commence tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a plan, but uh, everything's just kind of on the fly at the moment. But uh, smash the like button, um, go and follow me on my social medias, on the vlog channel and the podcast channel, and uh, subscribe if you're new here, and turn those notifications on, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, love you, bye-bye.